Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In the second part of this video, we will use Excel formula to get uh, optimal hedge ratio. Uh, first, we need uh, expected quantity. If to get expected quantity, we have the same data. We will use sum of product function. Then second series. And uh, we can get uh, uh, by using mult function as well. transpose uh, for quantity or we can transpose the probability as well and that is uh, multiplied by uh, p value so you can see that we have the same answer now to get hedge revenue we will use uh, uh, this quantity that is uh, 0.975 now we first calculate uh, unhedge revenue and then we calculate second part means by taking uh, this uh, expected quantity uh, this represents number of contracts uh, multiplied by spot price uh, minus forward price that should be fixed and now just get multiply after multiplying this and this uh, just add these two now to get uh, because in hedge ratio we need standard deviation so we will calculate standard deviation formula for population and we need standard deviation of this sq as well so first we calculate uh, this hedge revenue and then we calculate its variability and then we will check with the help of optimal hedge ratio whether this is reduced or not. Now the variability of this hedge revenue is 0.91. Now to get optimal hedge ratio, we need correlation coefficient. So first of all, we calculate uh, correlation coefficient by correl function, uh, first range and then second range of SQ that is represented by Y. So this is correlation coefficient and then we need standard deviation of SQ that we had already calculated and then standard deviation of X means price and we have this also. Uh, now just uh, using this uh, hedge ratio formula means uh, correlation between SQ and S uh, that is multiplied by uh, variability in unhedged revenue divided by variability in price. So our hedge ratio is this 1.85. We have already calculated it manually as well. Or even we can get this hedge ratio with the help of uh, slow function. Uh, we have Y range and then we have X range. Uh, we can get the same answer with the help of beta. Uh, now calculate again by using uh, this optimal number of contracts multiplied by part price minus forward price that should be fixed and then it uh, means sq on hedge revenue and this s minus f with number of contract and then just uh, copy it down and after getting this hedge revenue by using optimal hedge ratio, uh, we calculate uh, its uh, variability. And now you can see that uh, variability is uh, now significantly uh, reduced. Uh, thank you very much for watching uh, this video.